picture. Yeah. Okay, Barbara. Well, for some reason, Mom decided she wanted that picture, and we had to go to a photographer downtown. To so we, she put the cats. She had a shopping bag, and she put the cats in the shopping bag, and Merlin and and Mother and me and the cats went to town. On the trolley. On the trolley. In the streetcar. To have, to have this picture taken. And when we got out from having the picture taken, the cats jumped out of the bag and ran all over, and here we were oh. all running around trying to catch oh. the cats. <laughs> we should have left them there and gone home without them. But, we didn't. <laughs> that is but can you imagine going through all that for just a picture of two kids and two cats? <laughs> But it was a it was a reputable uh, photographer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I keep thinking of of um, I can't. Well, the name just left. I'm, it isn't English, but it was kind of almost close to that. But anyway, yeah. But it was a good photographer shop. But <laughs> oh yeah. It was that our folks would take different people into our homes, who, who they were, why they were there. And why did our folks do it? Well, partly mother did it, partly for money. She did get paid for some of those. When when Verna had that baby, her husband left her. Oh. And she didn't have a place to go to when she, she didn't have any other children. This was her only child, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she needed some place to go. So mother said, so well, she would take her in, and she and she needed someone to care for the baby because she didn't know anything about children. This and uh, were we so. still taking piano lessons? I know we couldn't play the piano, but were we taking lessons at that time? It could have been. I don't recall that, but we couldn't. We couldn't hardly even whisper in there, and you couldn't. Uh, you couldn't touch the you baby. Couldn't touch the baby well, because she didn't want the baby awake ever, <laughs> awake or crying. But you just couldn't even touch it. <laughs> and uh, she was a real crotchety person, really. But mother was so well, good think, to I her. I think she loved the baby, but she also it. it well, no, mother was the Relief Society it was, president. It was unhappiness yeah. because when, of When mother was the Relief Society president, she did a lot of these help things. Yeah, that, yeah. that was another place that I used to help carry food. Yeah. Whenever, whenever there was a party, Barbara was traipsing along behind mother carrying, <laughs> carrying bags of something up there. Well, why did she take Grant Sylvester then? I mean, that he was, was a that service was, man. But that was partly for money. That was money. Yeah. What about she Shirley? Oh, and Shirley. We, thought, we thought Grant was wonderful. <laughs> Shirley was What Grant. about Shirley? <laughs> was she a juvenile delinquent? Yes. Yes. I, she, I think she was a welfare girl. I really do. And it was we, through we, the we welfare We took her in agency. for money? Is that the idea? Yes. And she'd, she'd, go, she'd have parties and she'd lock the, us in the bedroom and yeah. she'd go have her party with her if mom and dad were out. Mm -hmm. And I was telling, I said to LeBon, yeah, she was the one that, that, that stole Dad's watch. And LeBon said she didn't know that, but she did. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember that. I didn't yeah, remember that's that. what I'd, I'd been told. That when she left, his watch went with her. So I disagree. Did, did we sort of eject her? Is that I think what? Mother went to the welfare people and said, we can't do this anymore. It was it, it was too hard with, with us having children. And she wasn't nice to us at all. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what about Grant? Grant, like you said, he was a service man. He was a, he was a nice kid. And, and we uh, took him in for money? Mm-hmm. Okay. And we girls thought I, it was wonderful. I don't know if <laughs> she advertised to do this, Merlin. I really don't know how. If she know just how, learned. Uh, I don't remember how she got there. I don't either. Yeah, I remember Effie, oh, your girlfriend. Well, he, he quite liked he Effie, liked and Effie quite too. liked him. and. We were too young to really. He was be very good. Right? He was a handsome, yeah. <laughs> young kid, wasn't he? Was he? A, and personable. Yes. We yeah. liked him. And killed in the war. Very nice. Yeah, he ended up being killed. killed. Okay, now what about and the he Swedish? Was from Eureka. The Swedish massage. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Whoops. 
I know too much about this. Uh, <laughs> what do you remember about the Swedish massage? Well, the only, the only, uh, the only she thing... She trained I'm... to do that. She what? She trained to do when that. She worked for the doctor. She worked for to that To be a chiropract- Swedish masseuse. Wasn't she a chiropractor? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had, she had she worked in that office up in uh, the Eagles building. building. Yeah. That's when I got hit by a car mm-hmm. on Twenty Fourth and Washington. We used to love to go into the iron. It looked like an iron lug, like the polio iron lung, and have the it heat. was a it was like that, a almost like like a coffin. <laughs> yeah, it was like a heat. What did they call them? Maybe uh, that it was a hot. It was a steam bath. Steam bath. And the lid would come down, and it was it was like it was a forerunner of the. The way they suntan people now. Yeah. <laughs> but she wouldn't let it. We'd beg yeah, to do it, but we had to drink that white, milky, oh, I, I couldn't awful <laughs> stuff, or we couldn't do it. So we got so. We didn't do it too often. So she did that only while she was with him. Is that the idea? The, the Swedish massage business? Mm-hmm. She never did it on her own, the Swedish no, massage. No, she, mm-hmm. she really worked for him, actually. Okay. He was such a health doctor, though. I mean, that's where the goat cheese and the carrot juice and mm-hmm. all of that's the stuff. That's the other thing I wanted to ask <laughs> all about. All of the stuff was that the we health had. food store. Yes. What do you remember about that? <laughs> well, I'm goat cheese, carrot juice, carrot juice. Well, carrot juice was palatable, kind of. But when you had to go to celery juice, that was the worst thing I had ever tasted. That's why we loved it when they made homemade root beer. We'd get to drink root beer instead of carrot juice. Well, when June couldn't go, uh, for some reason or other, she couldn't go and take care of the store, I would go take care of the store and sell stuff for her. Wow. But they, they, it was a partnership. Did you get That's paid? It was a partnership did with you Rachel. Get, did you get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> but her partner was named Rachel, so the name of the star Porter. store was Porter. Ray Moore. It was Mrs. Oh, I, Porter. That Mrs. Sounds, Porter. That sounds and he was Arvel Porter. He was a, he was a postman. Yes, yeah, true. They were the partners with Mom and Dad. Yes. And uh, another uh, bigger store opened up down on Washington Avenue, and uh, they couldn't compete, and so they had to close the store. Gee, what a sad day. So, uh, how long did they run it? Do you remember, Lane? Pardon? How long did they run it? I think it was uh, two or three years. Two or three years, that, that long. I, I didn't think where it was, was quite it that 24th long. 24th Street, was, was that where it was? It was at up the by top Lock, of 24th Lock, Street. Lock and Mortuary, it was right next to it. Yeah, yeah.